January, a new beginning, a month full of promises and hope, of silent wishes, or at least that's how it is for me. I have heard that the word desiderio in Latin is composed of the sidera and means lock the stars. And I have to admit that I've never felt so far from them as in the last two years. I got stuck. I stopped really dreaming. I feel I have no future possibilities. We all have the need to imagine, achieve goals that are important to us and to really live. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This month's theme is Nightcare, Belaris and more generally the book A Court of Mist and Fury. It is my safe harbor. You probably are one too. I chose this theme because it's a special mom for me. I'll turn 27. I wanted to open the new year with a simple page full of stars, of course, and fireworks doodles. I believe that loading up at the beginning of the year with the new resolutions is somehow harmful. That is why, on the opposite page, I decided to create a simple mood board. It's something visual and more meaningful, that doesn't necessarily change you to a to-do list. Or, if you really want, you could find the word of the year and note it down in your bullet journal. There is no point in loading yourself with pressure already at the beginning of the year, isn't there? Polaris, the city of starlight, home. I decided to depict the night of Starfall, a holiday that coincides with the migration of hundreds of spirits to an unknown place and is celebrated with feasts, dances and sky gazing. I didn't want a realistic representation of the city as much as the image in my mind. The atmosphere of a place waiting for the light trails in the sky. I would have loved a festivity like that, really. I loved representing the city, imagining myself walking along the Cedra and reaching the rainbow, the hardest quarter, and then stopping at one of the local cafes. A daydream whose calm and light I feel. On the facing page, the marks were born from a mistake, but I immediately took advantage of it. Thinking about how often I make gestures like that to clean my brush. Gestures that leave marks on the table, on fabric and skin. Gestures that Fera would also have made during their creative process. Yeah, I feel very close to her. Fera is a character that reflects certain sides of me and my own experience. When I reread her healing journey, it is as if I could heal a little bit myself. The last two years have destroyed me. Yeah, that's how I feel. Everything I have done to be able to find work one day has been for nothing. Yet, there is a glimmer of hope that keeps me going. You have no idea how difficult it is to say all this. But I am like that. I prefer to show myself as I am, because I really can't fake it. But these videos and my bullet journal have become a necessity. Reading all your comments makes me immensely happy and grateful to have shared all this with you. And here we come to the main double page. I thought of painting a starry sky directly, as if I'm zooming in on the previous painting and adding one of my favorite phrases. To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. This is the approach that best meets my needs in terms of space and productivity. Adding too many things to complete on the bullet journal would take time away from the things I should be doing in reality. That is up to you and what the bullet journal represents to you. I 
I strongly wanted to include the recent North Circles cabin in this month bullet journal. It is one of my dreams to be in such a place with a lit fireplace, a chocolate in my hands and endless snow falling. The kind of winter I would love to experience. On the opposite page I made an interior. I made a list of all the illustrations Fera painted in Akuma. As I couldn't make them all, I opted for the eyes of the members of the inner circles, the table with all the heart materials and the soup for Reese. I enclosed the various habits in green frames, a small reference to a particular promise between the High Lord and the High Lady of the Nike. Here I propose as a divider the red Illyrian wings depicted on the shelf of the large fireplace. On this last page I made a simple graphic using the collage technique. I printed one of my favorite phrases and some illustrations made especially for this month, such as the Polaroid of Ferris hand drawing a star on Reese's one, or my sketch of Ferris dress for Starfall just as I imagined it. The portrait of the High Lord and Lady in black and white is always a sketch of mine as is the one of Reese seen from behind. I imagined this one in particular as one of the drawings Fera does on his birthday. Anyone who has read the books knows. <laughs> and here's the final flip through of this month's spread. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. I can't wait to read what you think about it. If you made this far, Please subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with future videos, like and comment with the emoji of a little star, but stay here because I still have one last message for you. I hear it's best. And despite everything, despite the fact that I've reached such a low and dark level in my life, I'm still here. I have survived. I wish you to find someone who recognizes your value, your abilities, and who supports you. To find your place in the world, something I have desired all my life. I wish you to find your night curtain, your safe harbor, be it a book, a place, a song, a person, or yourself. I wish you to never abandon your passions and the ability to dream, for these are the things that make us feel truly alive. To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered.